Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. They offer thousands of classes for many different topics that you can learn on your own pace. Recently, I have been using a lot of Skillshare for video and film because I wanted to increase my production quality on my review videos. Also for people like me that is trying to do YouTube, you gotta learn everything by yourself from graphic designing to photography and filming, etc. It's a self-developing journey and Skillshare has been a great help with that. So if you're interested in investing in yourself through Skillshare, Skillshare is offering two months free for the first 1,000 people that use my link in the description. So make sure to try it out. So stuff that we have to do today. My goodness, a lot of stuff. So I have to do B-rolls for the first Watt F7, which is coming up for my channel very soon. And by the time you see this, actually it may be actually up already because I will probably shoot the B-rolls first. But anyways, I'm gonna shoot some nice B-rolls today, later in the night. And then here we have uh, the Focal Shape 65 speakers and the Elac Navis, which is both excellent active loudspeakers that I reviewed for Soundstage. And I'll link the reviews in the description below for you guys to check out. But I'm, I did a comparison between the two because they thought that would be interesting. So I did an honest, brutally honest comparison between the two. I even said which one I prefer and why. So when that's up, make sure to go check it out. And these speakers, I have to pack them up today and to uh, return to Doug Schneider from Soundstage. Uh, he's the founder of Soundstage. And also, uh, he is helping me bring in some PMC speakers that is going to be quite up there in price. And it's going to be quite exciting because it's pretty, it's pretty high end. I wouldn't say the high, high end, but pretty high end. So that will be reviewed for Soundstage as well. And they're going to be brought into this space today so I'm gonna go meet up with him and I'll take you guys with me so that you guys can check it out and see Doug for the first time and the Soundstage team well part of the Soundstage team like Jason and so yeah that'll be interesting and that'll be exciting but right now I have to do a lot of, lot of stuff right now first of all I have to pack these speakers up to return to Doug I have to pack up the shit Ragnarok return to Doug the shit Bifrost 2 deck return to Doug now all these are reviewed already, so that's why they're returning. I'll link all the reviews in the description below for you guys to check out. Hi. So this is everything for Soundstage. I'm gonna have to load this somehow into my tiny car and we'll be on our way to meet Doug and pick up the speakers. Oh, so loaded everything in my car, got my GPS, time to head to Jason's house to pick up the PMC speakers. But my God, isn't it amazing how all of this fits in my space? I think that's incredible. <laughs> in this small car, you'll be amazed how much fits into this car. Hello? Hey Doug, you on your way? I'm already there. You're, already, you're already there. So it's the address that uh, you sent me, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm on my way. Just saw a bit of traffic I'll, going I'll down. Wait, I'll wait right where you pull in because it's kind of tricky to know where it is. It's kind of you come in okay. a little spot. So okay. as the GPS guide, yeah, I will guide you to where to park. Awesome. I'll be right there. Okay. Thanks. Okay. You wanna do you wanna say any intro or anything or there's no intro, it's just it's kind of thing. I already filmed like the, you know me packing up the Elac speakers and all that stuff. Oh really? Yeah. It's just like vlog or okay, hang on, very behind the scenes kind of thing. See, I got some there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the film. You get something stuck in your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> what? <laughs> you should be there angled a little towards you. Looking mainly at Jade. This is a, this is a vlog. This is this not. Is a vlog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, everyone, this is Jason. This I, is... I, Doug Schneider. Doug Schneider? <laughs> start again, start again. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. There's no starting again. <laughs> Jay Lee, Jason Thorpe, and Doug Schneider. Okay. Okay, from Jason. I want to start off with this though. 
Have you ever gone into like HMV or Sam the Record Man or something and seen band shirts on the wall yeah, and yeah. wondered who buys them? Yeah. Where'd you get that, Jason? Uh, pop music just around the corner from here. Hey, you got a mosquito there. I got him. Okay. Um, mosquito everywhere. Yeah, got some poison over there. Hopefully that'll get rid of. The pop, the pop music thing's interesting because um, Jason's a real vinyl guy. Mm -hmm. And that's a record store. Record, right? right? Records and records and uh, Rush t-shirts. Okay. Tell us about um, your history with vinyl. Because Jason would be our vinyl guy. Okay. And when you're going to be reviewing turntables, mm -hmm. you're going to be hanging out with Jason a lot. Awesome. So when did you get into vinyl? Uh, I got my first record was a KTEL record. It was KTEL's Lighthouse Greatest Hits. Light Lighthouse's Greatest Hits, I think I was 13 years old. And then uh, a friend of mine uh, sold me his uh, Rega Planar 3 uh, back in the 90s. And uh, I started reusing, I started using that more. Because before that, I just had a silver techniques turn to you remember those plastic ones? You could just kind of grab it, just kind of just twist it. Until when? You used that through the 80s? Yeah, for a while. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And um, then I, I got my uh, Planar 3 in the, in the, in the mid 90s, mid -early, early 90s. Okay. And from that point on, just uh, never stopped. And what are you using right now? Uh, VPI uh, Prime Signature. Beautiful tape. Big, huge tape. Very impressive. It makes me feel like I'm on somebody. <laughs> and you, um, and you, Jason just reviewed the uh, Dr. Fiker turntable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Soundstage High Five. And before that, the PMCs. Yep. Fact 0.8 signature. That is correct. I'm not sure if that's exactly it. Must that be. is it. But that's I, the one. Been, yeah, fact 0.8 signature. Yep. That's the one I'm taking today. Yeah. Lovely, lovely speaker. Built like, you know, built like a tank. So it's uh, got the, you got the transmission line in there, so the so the, the folding of the uh, of the the rear wave that goes out the port out the bottom means you've got to have a lot of cross braces in this thing. So it's like a big narrow uh, uh, deep cabinet, but you just there's absolutely no uh, flex to it whatsoever. It's really heroically built. And in the and in the you had an interesting story at the beginning of the review about a car engine being built by one person. Mm -hmm. Our engine? Yeah, it's Aston Martin. And if, if you go, if you if you lift the hood on an Aston Martin, right in there, it used to say built this engine built by you know David Higgs or whatever the guy's name was. Um, now it says supervised by on the newer cars because my neighbor has one. Okay, um, but uh, still, it's one guy looks after the car from start to finish. And the PMCs in the owner's manual, you see right in there it says this speaker built by and then this is the guy's name. So it's you know it's old old world craftsmanship. You kind of thing you find in England, a really small cottage company. And I can tell you, I was um, right before, literally just before this whole lockdown happened, I was in England. We went to Kef, we went to Vivid Audio, and the last company we went to was PMC, Professional Monitor Company. Yes, Professional Monitor Company, not Corporation, Company, or PMC. And I try to research the companies as well as I can before I go, so I, I know and we produce videos there. But that was one of the most fascinating companies. And the reason was Peter Thomas, who um, founded it with Adrian Lauder. Uh, Peter Thomas used to be at the BBC uh, for at least 20 years at the BBC in their recording area and stuff like that, and evaluating studio monitors and that sort of thing. And what they did was, I can't remember the first the name of the first PMC speaker, but what they, wanted to create was an ultimate monitor that they always wanted at the, PM, at, the, at the BBC. And so him and Adrian created the first PMC speaker, an active studio monitor that would be suitable for their needs at uh, uh, BBC. And I think it's the only speaker company that's actually won Emmys. That could be. Is it, it's yeah. in their literature. They said that, it's, it's, you know, from, uh, from work, I don't know. What they're for, from, uh, so what are you going to hook the PMCs up with? You know what? I haven't decided yet, but I have a few amplifiers. They like right a bit now. of juice. Yeah. So, um, I have the Hayway H one ninety right now. I don't know He's how got an H ninety. Oh yeah. Not an H one ninety, but upstairs is an H ninety. It sounded very good with the ninety, but you could tell it was compressing a bit. Okay. It needs more power. More yeah. Power. So okay. maybe the H one ninety. That would. That would probably have, work fine. I have the first one F seven, and now now that's twenty water, but. That's the thing. It'll sound great. I just I just did the review on my channel, and 
the first one has seven, you would think that it, it, it can't drive certain speakers, but it, it drove like difficult to drive speakers. And I was like very impressed by it. And okay. so I want to try and That'll see. That'll be interesting to see. That'll be interesting to see. And then I have this other, you know, class A design that's 80 water. Mm -hmm. It's called Junction and that's made in China. Right. And so I want to see that. Now, it's funny because the amplifier, like topology wise, and I've gotten this comment multiple times from many different people. Um, when you look look at look at the design, it's kind of hard to believe that it's 80 watts in class A, because you look at the first watt and that's 20 watts in class A. Yeah. You look at this thing and it's 30, 80 watts in class A. Why is it hard to believe the you know, size? The size. Or no, you need a big honking exactly, power supply exactly to do that. The size. It's big, but not 80 watts class A. And so, but we'll see how much. Run that really fares. hot. It runs very hot, so I'm excellent. It's, I you know it's made to believe that it's probably like class A to some extent, and then, you know, not pure class A. Not pure class Never A. trust an amplifier that runs cold. Yeah, yeah. And the Hegel should, the Hegel should power. It. Oh yeah, the Hegel should definitely power. It. I don't have any doubt about that. One. Yeah, so that's a hundred and ninety channel. The the H one ninety. Yeah. No, I think that's hundred. 25? Yeah, Hegel. <laughs> I don't know why they, they they pick numbers like your 90 H90 is not 90 watts. What is it? 60. Oh. Right? Well, yeah, 60 perfect watts. Sense. 60 watts, right? <laughs> H190 is probably 135. Ooh. Okay, so the 60 H that makes sense. H120 watt. is 75. Mhm. Mm H590? Ooh. 301, I think. So, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 301, I think. Yeah, something like that. H300? And H360, both 250. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I guess, you know, it's, it's their amp. They can call it whatever Eagle, they want. Eagle right? does these things. It's like NAD. I was down at NAD. You know how they call them? I don't remember. And I said, I can make no sense of your naming. Like <laughs> C3. <laughs> I can't remember what it means now. It's been fun having those speakers here, I'll tell you that. They're, they've been very enjoyable. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with those. One word to describe them. If somebody says, what's one word to describe the speaker? Snappy. Oh, we came up with that fast. So let's see. Is it snappy? Snappy. I'm the That's adjective right. guy. <laughs> yeah, do it. Okay. So Doug and I brought these speakers in. These are the PMC speakers. Just had a quick listen as well. My God, it's great. Uh, Doug and I did a video series as well which will be posted later, but uh, yeah, this will be on soundstage very soon. Those are the accessories? So these are the, I didn't put them in the box just because it's a pain in the butt. Okay. Like just because you're, you're going to open it. So that's all the, the, the feet. Okay. And uh, this is the manual. There's a lot of, if you read that, it'll give you a lot of talking points. Cool. That's hey, you. look, boxes. How many? How many pounds are these? Seventy-five pounds each. Seventy-five pounds each. Yes. Ooh. Okay. So, I'm gonna help Rene. That's how I say your name, right? Rene. Yeah. Rene. You did it really well. Thank okay, you. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, so I'm gonna unpack these. So I'm actually, in. yeah, I'm actually gonna unload these right now. Put them on the cart and uh, bring them in. I, all I need from you is to open the door for me. So I can oh, okay. And I'll be. You sure you don't need my help? been doing this for far longer than I care to talk about. So. All right. Oh, they're not. They're not that. They're not that tall. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> What's the cabinet made of? You know. The cabinet itself is is one of the unique uh, features of mm -hmm. the Alta line. It's uh, using material called damp hard, mm. and. Uh, it's a multi-layered laminated product, but inside are, are different materials that help reduce vibration. Yeah. So different materials touching each other actually breaks down waves better than a solid material. I see. All right. How do you open this? Oh, okay. Satisfying. Yeah, exactly. Always I satisfying take, to open boxes. I don't want to take all your fun here. On this. On Box the therapy. <laughs> <laughs> He has a knife! He has a knife? That's not a knife, this is a knife. Here's a little trick, right? Yeah, <laughs> you know the trick. Okay, and then I flip them over. Comes out. 
just be careful because these staples okay. on some of them, could, even though it's covered, I'd like to be careful. Yep. I have a love-hate relationship with staples on cartons. <laughs> I love them because they truly do keep things closed when that courier or something knocks it over. Yeah. But... I should probably turn on the light here. Probably die. I didn't know if we were being romantic about this whole process, but here we are. <laughs> You're creeping everyone out, Winnie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a dark sense of humor. It's okay. We're all a little bit weird. Um, I guess it's twisted over. Who are you? Oh, I'm a, oh my goodness. I'm a young man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> not, at, not at this rate. <laughs> okay. All right. So that side. And I'll just put little belt heads there. That'll be good. There you go. And that's the back side. So let's show that. Oh, there's a grill. Voila. Grills third. So that's the ribbon tweeter. That's the ribbon tweeter. This is a 10, 8, 10. 10 inch. Looks like Great. a 10 inch. That's, that's a good guess. Well done. You know what? Uh, oh, that's that is a 10 inch? I think so. <laughs> My brain has just gone it's blank. It's okay. It's okay. It's not, a, it's not a review. This is a vlog. As soon as, <laughs> as soon as we start filming, my brain goes to old Star Trek episodes for some weird reason. Oh, that's... That's... Hot. <laughs> Fujin, what are you doing? I am building our new editing PC. I hate this vlog already. I'm dead. Um, yeah, so ever since we started exporting in 4K, Jay has been complaining about the uh, exporting time, which is how long it takes for the video to process. So um, after looking at his old PC, we realized it's a relic, and we are building him a beast. So the specs of this PC is a 12 core Ryzen 3900X, 32 GB of RAM, and then the video card is an AMD RX 5700 XT. And uh, we're gonna liquid cool it, and we're building it in this small ITX case, because why not? Dude, build it faster. I'm trying, dude. I'm actually trying. Unless you want me to like short your motherboard and you know, kill the PC. I've done it before. It wasn't good. It was not good. And who needs a manual? You know, you just gotta figure these things out. Bad example. Oh shit! <laughs> Do not put that in the video. I will put that in the video. Oh <laughs> uh, shit. Ooh. We got the manual. Oh yeah, I was using the wrong screws. Oh my goodness. Who needs oh. the manual? Am I right? <laughs> this is defend yourself. I am. I'm installing your PC on, on your freaking bed. I'm making do with what I got. Oh shit. Sure, I should give you a break, is that what you're saying? Yeah, cut me some slack. Come on. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. I hope this came with thermal paste, because I did not buy thermal paste. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, they usually come with thermal paste. I would be very surprised if this computer even actually works. It will. Believe in the process. Tujin's like, oh, we should definitely film this, show people how tech-savvy we are. How tech-savvy I am. How tech-savvy I am. Yes, sir. Drops the freaking cooler. Oh, my God. And did prepared. I install this right? He installed oh, it shit. wrong. Will this make a difference? Of course it will make a difference. Do it the right way. So after five hours of bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, not five hours. It's exaggerating here. But that's what we have. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. 